Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. My name is Ahmad Shamshiri from Canada. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce this four channel infrared control relay module. This is an interesting module made by Kifi QIFEI, the same brand is here. And this module can be controlled with, with either infrared, three is on. If I press three again, now it's off. With the remote, with these push buttons, off or you can connect external push buttons, or you can connect a switch, sensor, or Arduino to control these relays. If I send a signal, it will turn on. Control the light, on. Let's get started with this. This is an interesting module. We have four relays, and each relay has three terminal. This is called normally open, this is called common, and normally closed. And these wires will be connected such that this is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off. Now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay. Job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load, whatever fan you have, and disconnect it to turn it off. So I will be connecting these two to the relay. For example, for one of them, when you connect your load, the load will have only two wires, and the job of this relay is to connect those wires so the uh, circuit is completed and the load is on or disconnected so the load is off. And here, one of the wire must, for example, for this relay, this three terminal is for this relay, in order to control a load, you must connect one of the wire at the middle and the other wire and the other wire will be connected either here when the relay is turned on, these two wires will switch and connect and the load will be controlled on. But you can also connect it here in, in the reverse way, meaning even if the relay is off, the load will be on, but when the signal comes, the load will be off. So you can, this is called normally closed so it's normally closed but usually people will connect here and the same way for the other one and so forth each relay can control up to 10 ampere either ac or dc load meaning that if you're in asia or europe with a 220 volts ac that you connect to the load just multiply it by 10 put a zero so it'll be 2.2 kilowatt or 2200 watt load each can control and if you're in North America, because the voltage of AC is 110 volts, it will be 1,100 watts. Just put a zero for each that will control. So make sure that the that amount of load that you are connected to this does not exceed this rating. Otherwise, this will melt down and, and there is a possibility of fire. And if you're connecting it to DC load, just it's a, a 10 ampere for DC load as well. And then the relay, because the operating voltage of the relay is 12 volts, you will connect 12 volts here. This has been labeled as VCC and ground. You will connect the positive to this pin and ground to this pin. These four pins have been labeled as control 1, control 2, CTR1, CTR2, 3, and 4, which are referring to these relays. Each relay will be controlled. There is a voltage regulator here, LM317, which will regulate the voltage for this chip, the chip number the module that I purchased have been wiped out, doesn't matter, simple controller. And here, when the voltage comes, we have a short key diode that protects it against reverse polarity. This is the infrared receiver, which receives the signal. Four push buttons here that are labeled as S1, S2, 3, and 4. S1 operates this relay, S2 for this one, 3, and 4. The each relay, we have a jumper connector here. that you can remove and put it on the other position. Now, when you put it at this position, it will be low triggered, meaning negative signal or zero volts will turn it on. If you put it in here, positive voltage or higher voltage will turn it on, which I'm going to test it to see at what voltage it will be triggered. Because this is operating with five volts, this should op be triggered with 
even 2.2 or 3 volts because the logic is 5 volts and the same way for this you can put it either low high trigger low high trigger and low high trigger here at the end we have two extra uh, jumper if you remove this then you can control each on and off this 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 jumper was for these two so these can be controlled on and off and now these two will be controlled only on and off can be happen from here this on will turn them all on And for each, we have an LED here that will show us that, that if it is active or not. Now I have connected it to 12 volts at the moment. And because this is connected, now I've connected it. And now let me show you the operation. If now I've connected it, so if I press off, it's off now if I press on all of them will be turned on these two uh, the rest will have no effect zero save and this only one two three and four will have effect now if I press one only one is on and the rest goes off and then two only two is on three is on four is on and then if I press any button only that really will be on now let me remove a jumper only the right one when you remove the jumper from the right these two will behave differently they can be controlled on and off now if i press three three is on if i press three again now it's off before it was not acting so now you can turn on and off and at the same way for four on and off and if, if, if it is on off still will work from here you can turn off and turn on again now if I press 2 as you can see 2 will have only turn on and function the rest stays 1 will turn on and cannot do anything because the jumper is connected 2 will turn on 1 will turn on and that's it if you want the lift to behave the same way on and off remove the jumper but if you need the jumper just connect it to the last pin and it's hanging not connected to anything so this way you don't lose your jumper and let me turn off all of them now each can be controlled separately and they all work one and then two on and off and three on and off four on and off one two all of them will work perhaps you will need it this way but there are the features Now for the push buttons, if you if these are connected, they would act exactly like the remote. One only turn on, it cannot do turn off. Two turn on, cannot turn off the same way, three or four. But here you, you cannot turn them off because you have to turn it off with the remote only. And now if I remove it, this two will be activated now on, off. You can press on and then off. And the same way the last one now let's uh, let's see what is the effect of low trigger meaning if we move this on the other side let me turn it, them off if I move it on the other side Okay, now I move them all on to the other side. Now these push buttons will not have effect because these push buttons are sending positive signal to the controller to control the relay and they will not have any effect. The same way remote will not have effect. And let's see, on will not have effect, off will not have effect. Now I will connect a push button switch for an, as an example and you can connect four push buttons here at the input. So
so this push button is now connected the other can be connected to the the other pin of this the other wire can be connected to the positive so if I connect this to the positive here and hold it now it's positive if I send a signal it will turn on but you can see when I hold it it is on when I remove my hand it's off it's not that it stays it just trigger when it receives signal so it's not a trigger it when it receives signal it's on and no signal it's off And the same way for the other channel. If I connect this to the negative, because the switch, this switch will get negative and send the negative signal to this pin, it will not have any effect. Now, if I put this to low trigger, now the low, if I connect it to the negative, now it, the relay will turn on. If I connect the other wire, which means if I connect a wire to the negative, to the positive, it will not have any effect. From positive to here, which means you connect this piece, positive to here, it will not have any effect. Now I have connected 12 volts at the channel 1 input. The voltage is displayed here, and the negative for the channel uh, 12 volts, external 12 volts for the trigger is here. The main power supply is not changed, it is still 12 volts positive and negative so now it's turned on as you can see and if I disconnect it the input I've disconnected the input here uh, so it is off to check at what voltage it will stop working so the voltage is shown here I'm reducing the voltage now let's see 11 volts still holding 10, 9.4, 8 volts is still holding, 9.4. so now this is around 5 volts, remember for, for relay trigger, so the relay has such characteristics that it can get, get energized, initial energy is holding it but when you drop the voltage slowly it still holds, so I have to disconnect it making sure it works as you can see it's very strong so 5.3 is good now let's go for 3.3 volts still holding let me try disconnecting it perfect so it can work with 3 volts as well let me go for two, let me go to one. So at one volt, let's try disconnecting the power so it's not fake. Perfect, it is working. And let me reduce it. 0 0.6, let me disconnect. Now you see, I got this. 0.6 it was connected but when I once I removed it now it cannot turn it on so let's go to 0 0.8 0 0.7 now okay so what we learned that this module can be triggered with 0 0.7 volts Now if I put this on the other side, now I'm connecting the polarity in reverse, meaning the positive is connected to the negative and the negative is connected to the input. That's very important. And the main power supply, do not change it. If you switch the polarity, it will not work. But for this one, we can put it on the reverse and I've moved the, this jumper to the low trigger and it can be activated with negative which means the negative voltage is coming here and it's turning it on if I move it on the other position and here I moved it I moved it back to the normal and it will not work unless I switch the polarity 
negative back to negative and positive and then it will work and now let's remove this this input from one as you can see that it's on and I move it to the second one it's a normal trigger now back if I put these jumpers back so when you connect external trigger these jumper the two jumper on the right side have no effect and here are the two wires for this AC bulb that I shown you the two have been connected on this first channel relay between common and normally open once you connect this to AC do not touch this area and be careful also not to touch here so I'm now I'm going to connect the power now the AC power is connected I will connect this to channel 1 as you can see it controls the light and if I press this button the same way I can turn it off with the other one and press the one now the AC power is connected I will connect this to channel 1 as you can see it controls the light and if I press this button the same way I can turn it off with the other one and press the one and I'm holding it and if I remove this button uh, jumper wire I can use this to turn off channel 1 off on and the other channels are turning on without interference to channel 1 Thank you for watching this was how to control this four channel infrared module from Kifi if you like this video and learn something please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube if you have comment or question post it in the comment section below I try to answer a reply if you haven't subscribed to my channel you may do so now so you can get updates of my upcoming videos